So, Greg, stepping down as chair of Make It York, why did you take the job and why are you leaving now? I took the job because it was. I was asked, was I interested? And my wife said to me, you really miss going to York, don't you? Why don't you take it? So I did. And I'm stepping down now because I'm, you know, I'm getting old. I'm 77 next year. Uh, I've got new grandchildren. I got all those sorts of things. And I just thought, well, maybe it's time I stopped doing so much and spent more time with my family. Mind you, I'm not sure my family want to spend more time with me, so we'll see. And um, what do you see as your uh, achievements and biggest challenges over the four years? Oh, well, the biggest challenge and the biggest achievement we got through COVID, really, because it devastated the finances of the organisation. Uh, and we recovered, and we, it's now pretty healthy, so it's quite good. Uh, I think York is, is a tremendous city, and I think it's... Uh, I compare it from when I first came here in 1971 and there's no comparison at all. I think it's just a great place and I always tell everybody I know in London, look, well, go and live in York, you have a much better life there and it's, by London standards, it's cheaper, not by Yorkshire standards. And do you think uh, it's, it's fulfilled its potential? Do you think that you can do even more now, York? No, I think it will grow. I think doing, I, you know, one of the other jobs I do here is to do with York Central. And I think York Central will make a big change to, to, to York. It'll, it'll change it further. I mean, it was, you know, it's not, you know, you go back to the 70s, it was still an industrial city. You know, it was, it was railways, it was um, chocolate factories. And it's not that anymore. You know, you've now got an awful lot of students here. You've got the universities have done really well. And I think York has grown with them. Fantastic. And uh, do you still have a, will you always have a soft spot in your heart for your... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, uh, yes, I, I could have, uh, if my family didn't all live in the South, I could have lived here very happily. I think it's a great city to live in. And it's, um, I mean, I came here, I didn't know the North of England at all. When I came up, came to university and here was York and what a wonderful place it was. And... Uh, I think, for, I think for a lot of people, wherever you go to university, it's quite a, nos, quite a nostalgic idea, really. Cause it was, but here, I've loved, I've loved York. You know, I was Chancellor of the University for 11 years, so I got to know it well again after, you know, not having been here for 30 years, and I think it's brilliant. And you do some amazing jobs, not least DG of the BBC. How does uh, being chair of Make It York compare? Well, you do different things at different times in your life. Some things are harder than others. Uh, that was... Running the BBC was quite a tough job, uh, and of course I ended up falling out with most of the politicians. Uh, here I've got on well with the politicians, actually, you know, with both you know, the last Liberal Council and now with the, the Labour Council. I think they both did pretty well. Fantastic. Well, congratulations and many thanks from you all. Thank you very much indeed.